The discovery of a new invasive plant species on the island has raised biosecurity concerns. According to New Year Quarantine, the ornamental plant shrub, commonly known as the bronze leaf clerodendron or firework, poses a threat to our farmlands and forests as they invade large areas and can eliminate other plant species. Despite the appearance of this lovely tree and its captivating flowers, the threat it poses to our environment is far greater. Colin Itwata of the Quarantine Division says that if these plants are growing in home gardens, owners are to get rid of them as soon as possible by uprooting the tree and burning it on the spot to avoid any further spread. But if these warnings are not taken seriously, there is legislation that the department can use to remove these invasive species, but the division would like to work with the community to remove the plants. Quarantine says do not discard or throw cuttings of this plant into the bush or it will spread like wildfire. A work program to encourage private sector interest from the new high school students started this week, but for some students whose field of interest lay in the public sector, the story is a bit grim. 29 out of 30 students were placed in private sector businesses and some government entities. However, only one student will not be paid a wage during the work experience uh, weeks as the student decided to work in the public sector. Concerns has been raised by some parents whose children refuse to work because they will not receive any wage compared to their counterparts in the private sector. Unfortunately, according to the new Chamber of Commerce, the YES program or the Youth Employment Scheme program is an incentive to encourage the growth and development of the private sector. Though some government corporations will reward their interns for the school holidays, those in the private sector are experiencing a much satisfied internship with hands-on experience and a chance to get a proper wage in their field of interest. We caught up with some of the students from the Youth Employment Scheme. Everyone around the UA knows that Kilo Cuts is just like BCN, involving cameras, shooting ads, and yeah, so pretty much it's setting up cameras and stuff like that is what I expected, so yeah. It's just something I'm interested in. Um, before, I was interested in carpentry, but now, since I was introduced to media and all that, uh, yeah. Any interest in working in the government uh, sector of the media rather than the private sector, which is what you're doing now? Oh, planning towards it, but yeah, stick to private sector. Well, I really like camera work. That's I find it the much easier work to do, even though it involves a lot of uh, physics kind of stuff, like lighting and all those. I wanted to gain ex experience and money at the same time because I don't, I don't want to stick to something that would, uh, I would do for a long time, just doing the same thing over and over again. I like to do different things, different time. And uh, yeah, and I also did it for the money. So Much debate, however, and confusion is about the eligibility of the students at New Power, who most believe is a corporation that has been put to rest by the Attorney General's office that New Power is a government department and not a corporation. As in the legislation, New Power is not set up as a corporation, meaning there could be a loophole for one student who is working in the public sector to be paid this time round. That news item was compiled by BCN Youth Employment Scheme students Phyllis Salama and Eric Sioniholo. The end of school term marks the completion of the New Year experience for one lucky student from Avondale College brought here as part of the NEVAT exchange program. The New Year experience Vaka Atutoa program was initiated in 2002 by a group of enthusiastic young New Year professionals in New Zealand to enable cultural exchange, especially for New Zealand-born New Wayans, to return to their roots. This opportunity has been made available by NEVAT through various fundraising efforts. Matalini Tawetau, a high school student from Avondale College, was the overall winner of the Nguyen Speech Competition 
at the newest stage on Polyfest and the prize sponsored by NEVAT was to attend Niue High School for one term to learn more about the Niuean culture, language and lifestyle. Mata says the experience has been a real eye-opener. Uh, it's been really um, good. It's, it's, it's a real eye-opener to see the culture change from New Zealand to Niue. Like here after school, we um, like feed the pigs and like we go to the bush and like get the towers, but in New Zealand we don't do any of that. It's just go home and watch TV. <laughs> and, yeah. I think my Nguyen has improved. Like I, I've started speaking Nguyen more, more than I have in New Zealand. And yeah, I just I feel like coming here to Nguyen was it's you learn to appreciate things more. Like just the little things, and those are the things that like really count, and they're like important. I'd like to thank Nevat, the Nevat team for making it possible for me to be here, <clears throat> and thank them for bringing me here. And I would recommend any other New Ayan young one to come here and experience the lifestyle because it's it's really um one of a kind <laughs> like experience Meta says that there are a few things that have been surprising and different but the experience would be highly recommended for other new zealand born Nuaians. the difference of the school size like our school is i think our school in new zealand's population is actually bigger than Nuaian's population altogether but yeah, it's it's actually good too because the the schooling the schooling in um New Zealand compared to this you learn more here. That's what I reckon. I would definitely recommend um other for other new and young young ones to come here. It's a really good opportunity. It's a it's a really um big eye opener, and it's it's like. It kind of changes you, like your attitude towards things, and you learn to appreciate more. <clears throat> and especially in the in the language as well, because the language is kind of dying in New Zealand. So it's I think it's really important that we come back and try and pick up the language and you know, keep it going for the future. I mean, the generation ahead of us. Mata will be returning to New Zealand in the next few weeks to continue with her schooling with the hope of returning back to Niue sooner rather than later. After an initial scare of a dinghy outbreak on the island last week, little has been reported of an update by the health department. Most of the reports by the department last week concentrated on the suspected cases that eventually confirmed positive. Since then, little information has emerged from the Department for Public Awareness as to the results of their investigations into how and when the assessment of the dinghy cases were completed. Whether there is still a need for public awareness, that has yet to be received from the Health Department. It may be safe to assume that all has been given the clear bill from health professionals. Today we were not able to speak to the director of the hospital regarding an update. And to end our news bulletin, last weekend the mission was to land the big one as the Luffy South held their pre-show day fishing competition. Many turned up early in the morning surrounding the reefs of Luffy Tonga, while others ventured out on the water on canoes. At the end of the day, there could only be a few winners and prizes for these events are to be presented when the village wrap up their celebrations in the coming days. The program in concluded with a barbecue session down at Kalaone, and yesterday it was time for the boat fishermen to try out their luck with a reasonable catch weighed in at the wharf. But Saturday morning is promised to be an all-out gala day fit for all members of the family. So don't forget to check out the Alofi South Show Day this Saturday, 
The theme for this year is yellow. You have to get in early to get the best on offer at the Halamahanga school grounds. That's our news bulletin for tonight. Good evening.